omahasteaks.com is a place you can go to help you save some time. It's a busy time of year. You're running a million different directions. The last thing you want to worry about is a healthy, delicious meal. It's, it's true. I mean, things start getting busy. Things start popping. We, and we've talked about this before. After you get past Labor Day, um, you've got school events, you've got activities going on, you've got all these other things that it's like you shift gears, right? Mm-hmm. So you want to make it as easy as possible to get the food together so you can have really a good meal but you don't want to spend all your time shopping. That's why you go visit their website. So you can take a look at, say, oh, the Deluxe Grill Out Assortment. And use the promo code Pat and JT. That's going to save you 50% off the Deluxe Grill Out Assortment. Plus, you'll get 12 free burgers with that as well when you pick your 30 entrees. So those would be the really good entrees. I mean, mm. my favorites would be like the, the all-beef meatballs. Of course, the filet. Bacon wrap filet, no less. Ugh, of course. Uh, what would you go with? You're still, are you still hanging in the dessert aisle? Uh, the dessert aisle. Hot, <laughs> hot dogs and dessert are my jam. <laughs> so, yeah, so they have the best hot dogs. And they have great sides to go along with that. Over 30 entrees, like Pat said. And you can share it with your family. Like, uh, I tell you, just make it as simple as possible and save over 50% off with those 12 free burgers. Go to omahasteaks.com right now and don't forget the promo code Pat and JT to save over 50% on the deluxe grill out assortment. Season two of the Pat and JT podcast. Oh, my, now I'm here at last. The best time always gonna be the best. Exclusively on the Herd App Media Network. Our episode um, that dropped yesterday, hard hitting journalism, we did an expose on runners and how they <laughs> lie. <laughs> Uh, got a, a reaction via text at 402-403-9478. It says, hey, this is Mary. I'm a runner and a marathoner. Oh, our marathon is 26.2 miles. You're lucky I'm a loyal listener. How dare you insult us runners? Just kidding. Love you. <laughs> see, that shows how much we know about running. Right. We just see 26.2 or 13.1. I just assume it's kilometers because it sounds very British. Because if it's a five, <laughs> because in other races are 5K, 5K 10K. 10K, right? So let's not, let's, let's not do this. Shaking it up a little bit. Yeah. I get it. Well, then credit where confusing. credit is due. 26 miles is impressive. I mean, even ha- even kilometers is, 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 is very in impressive. Miles is impre- but if it was kilometers, then mm, it, it seemed like a lot. Still lie. impressive for me. I mean, it's for a non runner. Right. But 5K I mean, would be impressive. Let's not flex when we don't have to flex runners. <laughs> A 5K would be impressive. Oh, yeah. So update on my uh, next door poll. Just going to tell you. You're, yeah. Oh, that's right. Your next door poll. Almost 500 votes now. Wow. <clears throat> you were going viral there on the next door app. I'm killing it. Are there even 500 houses in your neighborhood to vote? Somebody's had to have voted. Are dead people voting in this election too? I don't think you're allowed to. You have to put hmm. in your address. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I don't see. Is the new de- news desk calling this for what? <laughs> Um, but I like some of the answers. Some of them, you can tell there's, there are some battles going on in some houses. Are you asking for me or my husband? Very different answers. <laughs> <laughs> but so far, it's still winning with 44% of the vote, 67 to 72 degrees is where people keep their air conditioner set. So crazy. So it seems mm-hmm. chilly, but so, so expensive. Almost half below 72 and every, then yeah, there's all of us Yeah, <laughs> that's up there with a the fan on. People that are tight asses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, a uh, Jack update. And I wanted to tell one other story as well, but the Jack. Um, first off, let me tell the first story. Because the first day this happened, and I posted the, the pictures of him with his little paw wrapped up. And he had taken a slice off his pad. Mm-hmm. No blood, just super raw if you hadn't heard. Um, anyway, he was wrapped up and had a little... Uh, waterproof container to put over his foot. foot so, and then I did get the press and seal. That was perfect. This is all awesome. But I talked to Rihanna and she asked me if I wanted her to do Reiki for him. Wow. And that was that, that day that it happened, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my God, yeah. Because he, he, you know, he was standing there holding the one paw up. He wouldn't put any pressure on his leg at all. Um, it was difficult getting him to the vet. So I had to take his ramp with me. Because he couldn't jump in and out. Yeah. And, and, you know, to and he's 100 and what? Pounds. 100. 100. Just a nice. He was 98 the last time he got weighed. He lost a couple. Okay. But um, I think it's probably the stress from the Dowie. But anyway. He, um, couldn't get to the food bowl. <laughs> and he's, he's been really good about eating. He really has. But I think he was a little stressed. But anyway. And I said, yeah, that would be great. And so she did. The next morning when he got up, he came bounding up the stairs. That was on Saturday morning. Wow. Not limping. That's pretty impressive. And I'm like, okay, he'd only had one dose of his meds because I hadn't even given his meds. Yeah, that that's pretty impressive. Yet. And I was like, seriously, woo woo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll take it all day long. Well, yeah, whatever. That Who, was, placebo, woo woo, actual whatever it is. It he worked. didn't know about it, right? Yeah, he had no clue. He had no clue. But all I know. So is she done he, that on animals before? 
She must have. I don't know. I don't know. But she does, you know, she does work with people remotely. Yeah. Um, but if you know about this, I'm curious if you've ever had it done for you remotely. Um, but I mean, I was, I'm all for it. I'm like, absolutely. Anything that helps. Whatever. Yeah. Bring it in. And yeah, he was, he didn't limp again after he got up that morning and then he was on his meds. He had meds twice a day that he took for anti-inflammatory and painkillers. And, um, I don't think he really needed either one at that That's point. pretty awesome. But it was pretty cool. So then yesterday his wrap was starting to get droopy. And I was like, mm, that's going to come off before you know it. And I didn't want to unwrap it. And then I, I had stuff to rewrap it, but I mm, I have a feeling it'd be like me trying to groom him. It turns into a game mm -hmm. and then I get nowhere. That's so, why on, like on TikTok, you got to put that plastic wrap around your head and put peanut butter on your forehead. Actually, so he just licks the peanut butter. You know, there's something for that. You ever seen my little lick it, buddy? Excuse me. <laughs> I don't, I, don't, this a, a, I didn't know it was this kind of party. <laughs> what are you talking about? Good Lord. It's a round plastic My mom thing. listens to this show. <laughs> it's a round plastic disc, and it's got little suction cups on the back, and it sticks to the floor, sticks to the fridge, sticks to the oven. Oh, yeah, you did sticks, say, yeah, yeah. You and then it's got little like nubbies it, yeah. on it, and then you spread dog, like peanut butter or dog, whatever, you know, soft dog food, whatever on it. <laughs> lick it. Lick and it's it, called buddy. a lick it, buddy. You <laughs> Go I mean, ahead, name going, the episode that. I mean, well, anyway. Have you, have you seen my Lick It Buddy? <laughs> Google that. I'm not kidding you. It's one of the best things ever because you can use that. That's funny. And I have never used that with him to groom him. Honestly, I got to think here. What could I stick it to? I don't know what it would stick to outside. I guess I could stick it to the back door because it would stick to the glass. That would probably work to groom him because I'm not grooming that boy inside. Right. Um, <laughs> it looks like somebody tipped over a snow globe. It's, <laughs> um, but anyway, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. But that, that would work to rewrap him. But I, again, easier just to do the walk-in. And so I take him in and they took, his off, took it off and they said, we don't need to put it back on. Wow. That's awesome. So he's, yeah. And no limping. No, I mean, no limping. Like yeah, he's back. I'll be damned. Jack is back. <clears throat> Jack is back. So all is good on the Jack front. The, the Reiki helped. I think it did. That's awesome. I really do. I think there's something to that. Combination of the woo-woo and Western medicine. Sure. We'll do <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we'll do a combination. Whatever. Whatever works. <laughs> so I'm good with that. Anyway, all right. So what else did you have? Uh, you know, I have like, <clears throat> there's not a ton. Like oh, I got one? something for you. Yeah, go ahead. I've got, I got a couple of three. I, okay. Seriously. See, yeah, I didn't. I list. Yeah. <clears throat> I just saw this the other day, and I've heard of it before, and I'd never really looked into it. Have you ever looked into 75 Hard? Yes, I have looked into it. <clears throat> Actually, I, I had uh, Papik wanted me to do that with him, and then I realized how hard 75 Hard was. A lot of people are starting it right now, and there's a couple of podcasts that I listen to where they talk about it, and they've challenged their listeners you know, to jump, jump on the wagon with them mm -hmm. to do this. You, you're, you're supposed to, because the guy that developed it has his own program, which he basically puts it out there for you. He, you know, I'm sure there's there's a cost to it somewhere. I don't. You can buy a book. I think. I think his uh, Andy Frazella is his name. And anyway, my phone's ringing. Hold on here, just real quick. Um, I don't know. It says unknown, so we'll wait till later. It's 2007 calling asking why you still have an Android, for God's sake. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not the only one. <laughs> There's more of us than you realize. I'm yeah, I know. Every time I see a green feet text field in my phone, it gives me, it's a trigger. You need a trigger warning every time somebody texts with an Android. If I'd known that, I would text more often. <laughs> anyway, so the rules are you have to exercise twice a day, 45 minutes each time. One of those two has to be outside. This is 75 days. You have to drink a gallon of water every day. You have to pick a diet and stick to it. But the, the caveat is of this diet, it doesn't include alcohol. <laughs> there is no alcohol for 75 days, no cheat meals. So there's no okay. going off base. You stick to it. And then you need to read a minimum of 10 pages every day. That's where you're out, is That's I'm out, yeah. Okay. Uh, Self-development business book, and you can't use audiobooks or, or podcasts or anything like that. It has to be literally reading a book. And finally, you have to take a picture every day, progress photo. Okay. To post somewhere. But you have to be accountable to somebody else, so somebody else has to be in on the two. Uh, Papik did it. He <sighs> did, did he really? He did a whole 75 days and didn't and hasn't had um, alcohol since, um, and he's now... Uh, he's running now, like eight miles a day is what he's up to. Oh my goodness! And he like he he's even told miles me miles or he kilometers. Hates, <laughs> he's miles. Okay, he's like, he, he ain't no bitch. Okay. <laughs> um, 
I might want to ask him about that. <laughs> he might be pulling one over. He on may you. be. Well, he running eight a day. He posts his little map. Okay. Well, not that that matters. You could fake a map, but whatever. <laughs> but yeah, he said it was. He said it was so super hard. Uh, the hardest part was that he did it in the beginning of the year, like the first quarter, and he lives in New England, so oh, it's yeah. cold. Um, and it was the it was just all the mental. Like he's like the, f- the physical sucks, of course, mm-hmm. but it's the mental. And it took like two weeks to get in that habit of doing it, and then it was to the point where you didn't want to disappoint yourself. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'd be I mean, it'd be cool to do. I know you'd be a completely different mindset at the end of those seventy five days. Well, that's what everybody says that if you do it, it will absolutely change your life. That, and, and it helps you focus mentally so much better. Um, and, and also it is the success of, of the regimen mm-hmm. and sticking to it and doing that every day. But I, I think the hard part, mm, I don't know which one would be the hardest. Working out twice a day, that would be hard. One I mean, of those but that, has but, to be outside. But that right there, but you could easily say, well, I'll just walk Jack twice a day. Get up yeah, in the yeah, morning it, and so, that, so that wouldn't be yeah, too difficult. It doesn't have to be like, you know, CrossFit. super hard exercise. Mm-hmm. You're right. You can go walk. You can jump on a treadmill. Yeah. Whatever whatever it takes. Drinking a gallon of water is not hard. The diet is tough. Drinking a gallon of water is tough. I pee enough as it is now. <laughs> we had our When we had a receptionist out here before everybody went home oh. and worked remotely again, she was here for a hot minute. I mean, there are sometimes she had to think, I think this guy needs to get checked. Because I would go out there probably every 20 minutes and pee. She's wondering what you're doing in the bathroom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do that on the second floor. No. I don't do that here. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, so I, and I don't drink a gallon of water. I drink constantly water all day, but not, I don't think it's a gallon. I gallon's think, a lot. It'd be, interested, it'd be interesting to find out. I think I do easily drink yeah. a gallon of water a day. Yeah. Okay. But, I, but that's all I drink, water or tea. Mm-hmm. Okay, vodka. Yep. But that's mixed with water. Fizzy water, it counts. Um, yeah, it does. <laughs> so it, it counts. Um, but yeah, that be all of this is not is not easy. And reading every day, right? Finding something. There's to, like not a negative and, thing about that. No, thing. like it's just it, there's nothing you can complain about other than it's hard. Taking the pictures every day would suck. That would suck until you started seeing some progress. Yeah. That would suck. Well, anyway. Do they have like a 35 <clears throat> medium <laughs> or something like that? 75 hard. Yeah. 35 medium. Uh-huh. 12 easy. 12, yeah. <laughs> Six. Eh. <laughs> It'd be about right. <laughs> so anyways, that's all I got. Okay. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. I that think uh, good pretty good stuff there, but uh, yeah, I have to, I got to think about this. I don't know. If Are you thinking of doing it? Mm-hmm. You should just do it. <clears throat> like this would be the best time of year to start it. Your heart's gonna be your part. The hard part for you is gonna be the no vodka in the water because that's like been your. That's my jam. Ritual. Yeah, <laughs> it's your nine nine medicine. <laughs> so what else you gonna do? It's your nine nine medicine. So I just imagine you give it up and then it's like then you don't want it anymore and it's like just like well, Scott. that would suck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you won't miss it. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Pat and JT podcast, a Huda Media production.